feet firmly planted on the ground, hands anywhere that um, feels comfortable to you, and just start to close or relax the eyes, or maybe you have a soft gaze towards the ground, just kind of coming into the present moment. Just noticing where your feet make connection underneath onto the ground or whatever surface you're on, and where your sit bones make connection with the chair or whatever surface you are on. Rooting down through your sit bones, noticing any sensations where you're sitting and then starting to grow tall through the spine, through the low back, mid back, upper back, cervical spine, the neck, all the way up to the crown of the head. And taking a few breaths together, we're going to lengthen our inhales and our exhales by a count of four. So I will count. So first let's just all take a deep inhale and sigh it all out. No one can hear you, so let it out. Audible sigh. And we'll start inhaling on a count of one, two, three, four. Pause. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhale. One two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Twice more together, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. And then just letting the breath come back, not trying to really force it in any way, just Noticing how lengthening your inhales and exhales kind of changes maybe where your mind is, where your body is. Maybe you're a little more relaxed. Maybe you're more present. Maybe you notice the body a little bit more. And without counting, try and keep a sense of lengthening with your breath like there's nowhere to go because there's not, not right now. And as we drop into the breath, we'll drop into the sensations of the body. Again, starting with the top of the head. Noticing any tingling or sensation or maybe there's nothing at all. Noticing the forehead, is that space between your eyebrows? Is it scrunching? Sometimes when I try to make an effort to notice that, it's always scrunching. So if you can, find a way to relax it. And the muscles around your eyes, can you let your eyes just rest in the sockets? Your jaw, can you just move your bottom jaw from side to side, letting go of any tension, maybe your ears pop a little bit and letting the tongue just rest at the bottom of the half of the mouth. Noticing now how the neck, the quality of the neck and shoulders. 
breathing into the neck and shoulders, melting any tension with your exhales. Moving down through the arms, all the way to the hands. Imagine sliding that tension from the neck and shoulders, letting it roll down the arms and off the fingertips. Noticing where your hand makes contact with the body or the chair and noticing any warmth or heat. No judgment, just noticing what your body is feeling, sensing. Coming to the heart space, the rib cage where the breath goes in. Breathing into the heart, opening through the rib cage and exhaling deeply. Relaxing through the upper back, in between the shoulder blades, relaxing there. Moving into the abdomen and the low back, sending breath into any tension in the low back. And sensing the breath in the belly and letting go with your exhale. Hips and pelvis, feeling again that contact with your feet. Finding a sense of relaxation here as well. Moving down through the legs, the knees, the calves, the shins, Noticing any sensation, if there's any resistance or discomfort, breathe into that. And then with an exhale, see if you can just let it go a little bit. Now down to the ankles and tops of the feet, bottoms of feet, all the toes, any sensation here? Finding relaxation and a release of tension here if you can, breathing into the feet. And now taking the body in as a whole, breathing into the whole body. And if there are any noises or distractions or thoughts that come in, let that be part of your experience and Welcome it with gentleness and then let it go. There will always be distractions, always coming back home to the breath, to the body. Breathing in, sense of ease, in and out as you take a few more mindful breaths before we begin to move. Sensing, feeling. Connecting mind, body, breath. For two more rounds. And then gently when you're ready, if eyes are closed, blinking them open. And just once again, noticing your surroundings and grounding again. We'll start with some cat cows. If you were here yesterday, yesterday you'll remember that the an inhale brings your chest open, shoulders back, chin lifts slightly. Exhale, rounds the spine, chin to chest. 
whole belly back, button back towards spine. Okay, a few more like that. Inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, open up. This is your cow pose. Exhale for cat. Gently finding movement in our spine to create more flexibility, more space. One more round of cat cow. Inhale, open, exhale, round. And then start taking circles in one direction with the torso, keeping the pelvis fixed to the chair. Finding rotation around your spinal column. Again, remembering to be gentle with yourself always and paying attention to what your body needs in the moment. Going in the opposite direction. Wonderful. And then coming back to center, releasing the hand, taking them by your side, palms face out, tall spine, inhale, arms reach up, finding length from the feet all the way to the hands, maybe gaze comes up, and then hands come to heart center, melt them down to the chest. A few more times like that, inhale, Deep belly breath. Exhale, hands come down center line. Once more like that, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take an interlace of the fingers, like any way that you want interlace, and then flip the hands inside out towards me if you can. So you can even have a little bend in the elbows if getting them straight is really hard. So as we inhale, we lift up kind of like the cat cow. So inhale, lift the arms as high as you can, exhale round the spine. So approaching the cat cow in a different way and getting a little wrist stretch. Inhale, reach up, press towards the ceiling. Exhale, round it in. Inhale, press up. Exhale, round. Twice more like that. Inhale, reach up. Press through the fingers. Exhale, round. Inhale, press up. Exhale, round. Inhale, press up. Take the take the um, palm sides of your hands, keep the fingers in our lace and put it behind your head. So you have um, your elbows kind of going to the sides. Relax the shoulders a little bit and just press the head into the hands. You should feel a nice stretch through the armpits here. Breathing openness into the chest, into the heart, into the shoulders. And then just taking a gentle bend of the torso over to the right, stretching through the rib cage. And then gently coming back to center and then switching sides, coming over to the left. Nice stretch, keeping, making sure your feet are firm on the ground and you have a steady seat on the chair. Once more each side, inhale, come back up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, come back up, exhale to the left. And then inhale, come back up, release the grip of the hands and touch the top of the shoulders. We did this yesterday, find your chicken wings and then make circles with the shoulders, with the elbows, finding rotation in the shoulder joint, gentle movement here. Remembering to breathe and then going in the opposite direction. 
Finding mobility in the shoulders. Finding your movement here. And then releasing hands all the way down. Taking an interlace of the hands behind the low back like this. So you can keep the arms bent like this, or you can straighten them if you have the openness in the chest. So either way is totally fine. So open through the chest, either pressing the knuckles on your sacrum or reaching the knuckles for the ground, opening through your chest here. So it'll look like this. And then taking your knuckles to your right hip and then pressing your right elbow back. And then taking right ear to right shoulder. So getting a neck stretch here, breathing into the neck, pressing back with that elbow. You should feel a nice stretch on the left side of your neck. If this is feeling really good to you, you can stay here, or if you want a little movement, you can trace your collarbone with your chin and take your chin towards the mid chest and then take it back. Going back and forth at a pace that suits you. Finding your sweet spot, everyone's necks are a little bit different. So we hold tension differently in different places. And then coming back ear to shoulder, release the knuckles to the low back or towards the chair. Opening up again through the chest, inhaling, looking up. Exhale, take the knuckles to the opposite side. Pressing left elbow back, left ear to left shoulder. Breathing into the neck. Keeping the spine tall. And if this feels good to you, you can stay here. Or if you want to try tracing the chin towards the center line, towards the chest, you can do that as well. Being very gentle with the neck. Remembering to breathe and exhale. And then coming back, taking the ear to the shoulder. And then one more time, taking the knuckles either to the low back or towards the chair and then opening again, finding a lot of openness through the chest from collarbone to collarbone, knitting the ribs together. And then releasing the hands, inhaling arms, reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms, and then let them flow all the way down. A few more times like that. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms, and then let them flow all the way down. Again, once more, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms and let them flow all the way down. Okay, finding your feet on the chair firmly. We're gonna do um, a few leg exercises, um, but first we're going to uh, melt the chest down like we did yesterday. So inhale, tall spine, and then just finding your hands firm on the thighs and letting your chest kind of melt towards the legs to any degree that you can while still keeping your bottom safe and sturdy in the chair and then coming back up. So kind of like a wave, you roll forward and then come back up. 
Inhale at the top, exhale as we fold forward. And then coming back up, straighten through the right leg, keeping the left leg bent. And then just simply walk your hands down your legs as far of a, to the degree that you can. And finding a little bit of a hamstring stretch in your right leg, flexing through the foot, breathing into the back of the leg, going as deeply feels challenging, but safe and not past any sort of pain. And then walking the hands back up the leg and then taking the leg that was straight and then hugging it towards you. We did this yesterday. So left foot is firm on the ground, right foot is hugging towards you to any degree that suits you. And then circling through the ankle. Ah. Taking a few circles in the opposite direction. And then crossing the ankle over the leg. Again, this will look different for everybody, but maybe you stay here, maybe you lean forward, maybe you're up here. You wanna try and find a little bit of a stretch in the right outer hip. And then flexing the foot that's on top, which for most of you will be the right foot. And then just leaning into it, finding the point where you can get a good stretch. Breathing here, opening. Left foot is firm on the ground. And then breathing, coming up, either staying here or crossing the leg completely over. We're gonna take a twist. Inhaling, left hand up, and then crossing it over the body, and then twisting towards the right. So twist coming for the torso, from the torso, and maybe using the left hand either on the hip or on the back of the chair to help you get a little deeper. Inhaling, growing tall, and exhaling, maybe twisting just a millimeter or more deeper. Feeling that nice squeeze of the internal organs and rotation of the spine. All right, coming back to center, gently, slowly lifting the leg, maybe giving it one more hug before you put it back down on the ground. All right, we'll take one round of cat-cow in between sides. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Coming back to center, finding the right foot firm on the ground, hugging left knee into the chest to the degree that you can. And starting to roll out through the ankle here. Getting any kinks out. Maybe your ankles are speaking to, to you like mine are. A little bit of cracking <laughs> here and there. And then hugging the knee in and potentially placing the ankle on top of the thigh. This is a seated figure four stretch and then flexing through left foot to protect the knee joint. And maybe you're here, maybe you're here. Anywhere you are, just finding the right place to um, either lean in or just stay exactly where you are, really feeling through the outer hip. Breathing into any deep sensations you may be having. Whenever a pose is challenging, really 
come to the breath and find the breath to help you get through it. And then coming back up, either staying here for the twist or crossing the leg over. Left hand to the hip or to the chair. Inhale, right arm reaches up, twisting over to the left and then taking the hand to the outside of the leg, wherever it is. Chin is parallel to the floor and then just slightly tilted down. And then another squeeze, gentle squeeze or hug of the inner, inner organs ringing out of the waist. Breathing here. And then coming back to center, gently lifting the leg, hugging it in, and then straightening it out. You have to make sure to stretch out the back of the leg here too. So walking the hands down gently, down the leg, wherever feels okay for you until you can get a nice stretch through the back of the leg, through the hamstring, flexing through the foot. And as you flex the foot, maybe even just imagine without picking up your heel, just dragging it back towards you and then lengthening over it. Breathing here. And then walking the hands gently back. Right foot finds the floor, feet hip distance apart. Arms inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Moving to our standing portion of class. Safely find yourself standing up out of the chair. And then just taking it to the side. Back towards you. So I think this will be most people's, so as I face you, it'll look like your left side here. So feet hip distance apart, finding your feet on the ground. So inhaling, arms reach up. And you can always stay in the chair and do these moves. Let me just put my camera a little bit higher so you can see my arms. One sec, there we go. Okay. So inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, finding the left hand on the chair and then just stepping left foot forward and then right foot back and tucking the toes under and bending through the right knee and just using the chair for support. And this is called a high lunge. So you'll feel a lot of stretch through your right hip. All right, arm can reach up using the chair to help you balance. There you go. And then staying here, this is challenging enough, surely. Or if you wanna take a side bend, you'll get an even deeper stretch through the side. You can take a side bend towards the chair. Beautiful. And then gently coming back up and with care, stepping your feet hip distance apart again and releasing. There we go. Beautiful. Again, we'll take that inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And then we'll take um, a twist like we did, keeping feet fixed, hips fixed. So the twist will come from the torso and just start rotating the torso to any degree towards the right. Hands can stay here or they can open up to the side. Or just staying here, just finding a little bit of a twist. And then gently coming back to center, inhaling, arms reach up. And then taking that interlace of the fingers like we did 
seated and then flipping the hands inside out and then pressing arms up overhead towards the ceiling, towards the trees. And then placing the palms of the hands behind the nape of the neck and pressing the elbows out. Opening through the armpits again here and just breathing. And then relaxing hands all the way down, finding hands at heart center. One cleansing breath here. And then left hand can come back to the chair. We'll take tree pose again like we did yesterday. So finding um, your left foot firm on the ground and then putting a little weight in it, but not just so much that your hip just goes to the side. You want a firm leg pulling up through the leg, through the inner thigh, and then foot can come to calf or toes can even stay on the ground. So wherever you can find a little bit of balance, something that challenges you, and then hand can either stay on the hip or it can come to the heart. And then growing roots through the standing foot, and then the head, top of the head, again, like a tree looking for sunlight, tall spine, finding the breath here. And then releasing the foot, releasing the hand from the chair and then just placing your other hand over your heart and just breathing into your heart. Taking a moment just to thank yourself, your body for all that it's done for you up to this point in class and just in general. <laughs> right, releasing the hands and then coming to the other side of the chair. And we'll start on the second side. Right hand comes to the back of the chair, feet hip distance apart. I'll give you guys a moment just to find your positioning so we can kind of be on the same side. So feet hip distance apart. All right, beautiful. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Taking right hand to the back of the chair and stepping your right foot back and then left foot forward a little bit. And you're gonna be on your back toes here um, on the left foot. And you'll find a deep bend in the front leg. Hand can be on the hip just for right now. Tailbone reaches back. Then you can even bend the knee if it's a lot to straighten the knee. You'll still get a nice stretch through your hips here. So. Bending through the front knee, inhaling, arm can reach up, finding st stability through your chair, but also through the front leg. You don't wanna necessarily be leaning on the chair, but you want it there just in case, just to have that sense of safety. And then either staying here, this might be enough, or you can take the side bend. Just gently bending, oh, I can feel it. In in the front of my hip and on the side. Breathing here, sending breath into the hip. Inhale, come back to center and then start bringing both feet towards one another. And then feet hip distance apart. And then inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And then we'll take the twist to the second side. So feet, feet firm on the ground, hips stay in the same place, starting to rotate your torso to the left. Hands can either stay here or they can open up to the side, opening through the chest. Breathing here, beautiful. You guys are doing great. 
And then coming back to center, hands come to the chest, and then inhale, arms reach up, maybe gaze comes up, and then exhale, circle the arms down and back, and then take, sorry, there's a really loud squeak coming over here, taking the um, interlace of the hands to the low back, you can keep them here, or you can lengthen them, opening through the chest. Breathing here. And then releasing, finding your hand back on the chair, coming into our tree pose, finding stability in that right leg, firming it up. So as we put um, a little bit more uh, weight into that leg, not letting the hip drop, but stabilizing it. This takes a lot of effort and toes can either stay on the ground as they come to the ankle or they can come to the calf for a little more of a challenge. Hand can either stay on the hip or it can come to the heart. Again, rooting down through that standing leg and then growing tall all the way up through the crown of the head, like a tree, looking for light. And maybe you take a little smile of the mouth because it's not so serious. It's, it's kind of fun too, huh? And then releasing the foot down. And then taking your other hand to your heart and then just taking a moment, taking one deep breath in and making an audible sigh, letting it go. <sighs> opening the eyes, releasing hands down to the side and then just opening through the chest. Mountain pose tall like a mountain, sturdy through the feet, all the way to the top. Okay, and then we're gonna find uh, now from the back of the chair, we're gonna, I'll show you, I'm, we're just gonna come behind it and then just take feet wider than hip distance apart. So toes are, oh, you can't really see my feet. Hold on a sec. There you go. So you're gonna take the feet a little wider than hip distance apart. And then I'll show you. So I'll be kind of standing behind the chair here. You can see my toes. Um, so that's kind of what it'll look like, but I'll kind of take it to the side so you guys maybe have a better view. So finding the, the hands on the back of the chair, standing tall, and then just taking a deep bend in the knees as far as, far as you can go without straining too much. So it can be up here, wherever it is, just finding a nice opening through the inner thighs. And the knees are gonna track over that second and third toe, really important to protect the knee joint. And then finding a lift through the um, sole of, a, of the foot so you're not collapsing. This takes a lot of effort. So just uh, stabilizing with the chair. And then again, that, that length um, and strength through the spine all the way to the crown of the head. Shoulders are back. And then maybe you even take a little bit of a movement side to side, or you just stay here. You can maybe even move to the music. <laughs> it's yoga and dancing now. <laughs> All right, so finding stillness. And then just, we're gonna take a few times just straightening the legs and then bending them again. Finding a little bit of movement. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. It's like we're in a ballet. Straighten and bend. Twice more, straighten and bend. Okay. Straighten once more, and then we're gonna come into warrior two. So I'm gonna face you, just hang tight for a moment. So you should all have the toes out right now, heels in. So your left foot 
just rotate it up just towards me, the toes towards me. And then the right toes are going to face towards the right. And then you're gonna bend through the right knee, hanging onto the chair. So you'll see you're kind of in this warrior position. We did this yesterday, seated on the chair. And your hands can stay on the chair. Maybe you release one arm, maybe you release both arms. It takes a lot of effort to, um, of your quadriceps and your thighs. So if you want a little more sturdiness, hang on to the chair. But here we are in warrior two, standing warrior two, tall spine. There we go. And then straighten through the front leg and then just switch sides. The back foot is now going to, the toes are going to face towards the computer or towards the front. And then the um, left toes are gonna face towards the direction, uh, the left. So knee is tracking over left foot. And then again, warrior two, bending through the front knee and then straightening through the back leg, using the chair to help support you. And then if you want, you can play around with having one arm, no arms, whatever you're feeling. If you do have your arms up, tall, long, strong arms, engaging through the muscles, you can always come back. It's fun to just play too. All right, straighten through the front legs. We're gonna go through each side one more time. So I'm just rotating the feet. So the 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 front foot the heel is going to be in line with the mid sole of the foot and the feet are going to be like this okay and then so we bend through the front leg and then we're in warrior two and then straighten and then switch sides back foot faces towards the front and then front foot faces towards the left, bending through the knee. Tall spine. And then maybe you play with the arms. And then coming back and then straightening both legs and then pointing the toes out, heels in and just coming back to that that bend that we did earlier. Just a little bend here. And then maybe moving back and forth again. And then standing all the way up. Toe healing, the feet together slowly. And just finding both feet hip distance apart, sturdy on the ground, slight bend of the knees, inhaling, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And then taking the hands to the back of the chair, sturdy chair, making sure you have room behind you. This can also be done on like, um, like a countertop that's sturdy. You just really want a surface that's sturdy for this. We're gonna stretch out and lengthen the spine here. So walking the feet back as you have your sturdy surface, lengthening through the spine. And then you might stay here. So coming to the degree that you can, just letting your pelvis, the hips kind of reach back behind you. And then just, you really wanna get a stretch through the spine, through the armpit and through the back. And then maybe over time, your chest becomes parallel or maybe it just stays above here. Just finding length here. Breathing space in between each vertebra. Stretching, this is a very intense stretch. And then remembering not to lock out the knees, but having a slight bend. Breathing here. And then walking the feet back towards the chair and then standing tall. And then just kind of shaking it out. 
We'll take that inhale of the arms and then exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to do that stretch one more time. So now that you know what to do and where we're going, just take your time, hands, both hands on a firm surface, back of a chair, countertop, and then walking the feet back slowly. Walking back, 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 lengthening through the spine, letting the tailbone reach back behind you. And then maybe you're, if it's hard for your head to go below your heart, you can keep that up a little bit. But you should feel a really nice stretch in your back, just really lengthening out. If you do a lot of sitting, it's really helpful to stretch out the spine. Maybe if you feel comfortable in this position, you can bend one knee and straighten the other. Just a little back and forth. Moving through the hips, through the hamstrings. Breathing here, releasing any tension. Two more breaths. Bending the knees and then slowly walking feet back up. And then there's one move I actually did want to do that I had forgotten. So coming um, to the side of the chair again, tall spine. And then whatever leg is on the outside, lifting the knee. Find a little space, just lifting the knee and then opening the leg up and moving it around. If you can do that, just a little gentle movement opening through the hip. And then after this, we'll sit down to close out class. Just trying to lubricate that hip joint, finding little movements through the hip, just really letting it maybe moving away, it doesn't get to every day. And then if you can go in the opposite direction. Going back up and around. And then coming back to center, switching sides. Finding your left hand on the chair, whatever side you haven't done. And then your outer leg, first finding stability in the standing leg and then lifting up through the outer leg, lifting the knee up, pressing it back and moving it around. Moving it up and around. And then going in the opposite direction. It's asking a lot of the standing leg, but worth it. All right, coming back to center. One more time, we take that inhale. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Just again, noticing your feet on the ground, solid foundation and that length all the way from soles of feet to the top of the head. And then finding yourself in your chair once more. And taking your um, bottom, not all the way to the edge, but just maybe halfway, just so you can lengthen out the legs a little bit. And then walking the hands down the legs just for a final hamstring stretch here. Legs can be as straight or bent as you want it. Just make sure you're feeling secure in your chair. And then walking hands up the legs, bending at the knees and finding a very comfortable pose as we take the last few moments to do some deep breathing. That can be sitting down or if you wanna lay down too and have the space, that is really great too. So wherever you feel comfortable, 
Um, so feet on the ground, or you can also be sitting or laying down, just again, noticing where your body makes contact with the ground or the chair or the, the floor. And then settling in, once again, noticing your body and how it feels in comparison maybe to the beginning of class. No need to label it, just noticing. And I'll let you do your own body scan, just taking a few minutes here to do your own body scan and then just tap into the breath. Maybe places of tension that you had before feel a little looser, or maybe you found new places of tension. Maybe you have a slight smile. Maybe your eyes smile a little as well. Maybe your heart feels a little more open. Maybe you feel the same, that's okay too. Finding stillness has always been a challenge for me. So when we can really try and drop in and take that moment just to pause. It's truly very sacred time to find that stillness. Taking a few more breaths. And then starting to wiggle your fingers and toes gently. And then coming back into the body. Neither taking, keeping hands where they are, or taking palms together and mid chest, or maybe even taking one hand or the other on the heart. And then just Breathing in a moment of gratitude for yourself, for taking this time to take care of yourself, be gentle with yourself. Thank you for being here and sharing this time with me, taking time out of your Friday to be here with me. I really appreciate it. Eyes can gently open when you're ready.
Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, anything. Sorry about the extra noise. <laughs> yeah, it was very good. I enjoyed it very much. Okay. I felt, I felt very, very, very relaxed. Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely Friday, a lovely weekend. Thank you. Do you do yoga every day? Do I do yoga every day? Yes. Um, I try to do it when I'm not working. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I, I usually work 12 hour shifts, so it's hard to do yoga then. But even oh. in the morning, I, I try and get a stretch in, even like a couple minutes. Right. Okay. Deep breathing. Yeah. So how um, are you going to be doing this regularly or what? I, I'm not quite sure how I even got invited, but it's been <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to hear. Yeah, you know, um, Twin and I, we had actually planned this like a year ago and then it just kind of happened um, right now because of, of course, you know, uh, the, the pandemic and everything. So hopefully in the future we can um, arrange another time to um, have these classes. And if you're on the CHRC mailing list, then we'll definitely let you know. Does that sound about right? Uh, what is CHCR? Yeah. So CHRC is the nonprofit that is uh, the host of these health lectures. CHRC stands for Community Health Resource Center. Uh, we have four primary areas of service, nutrition counseling, behavioral health counseling, and health education, which you're here for now. It's one of our free and open to the public programs. And we also have drop-in community health screenings at Mission Neighborhood Centers, where you can come and get your glucose, blood pressure, and total cholesterol results for free. Um, but yeah, so we are a community health resource center. We're an affiliate of CPMC, but we're still a nonprofit. And I'm the program manager for health education and health screenings. So if you are interested in more programs like this, we'd love to make sure we take a note of that. It's lovely. Thank you. N nice job, too, by the way, of doing it on Zoom. You did a great job. <laughs> well, all thanks to Lisa, right? She is fantastic. No, thank thank, thank you. you so much, Lisa. And, um, thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa.